Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in uh, Tirana, Albania. We got a new little rental car because our last one had lots of problems. If you want explanation, then go to uh, Anusha Shubham's video. Um, I was just too angry to make the video, but apparently we put the wrong fuel and like diesel into the petrol. Anyway, so we have a new Skoda. Um, so we just got some Indian food. Now we're gonna head north. Um, but uh, I figured a great way to start this video is to show you uh, my parking tickets. Um, I have no idea what I did wrong. There's no signs, no signs, nothing on the ground, but it's all in Albanian, so I, I literally have no idea what the problem is. So if anyone speaks Albanian, please do comment to let me know. But uh, we're going to head north. We're going up towards um, uh, towards the villages. I have a special thing I want to show you guys today. So, let's go. What's this? I have no idea what this thing is. <laughs> it just looks like a big milk can on the side. Jolly. No idea. <laughs> Just since we're driving past it, oh, that's yeah. the uh, <laughs> that's the scene of the, the the great disaster, the place of putting a diesel inside a petrol vehicle. We were trying to explain to this guy in Albanian, like, please, benzene, benzene, petrol, but no, the language barrier is so extreme in Albania. Anyway, I was driving past it. I thought it was funny. Okay, we're coming into the city. Uh, Fruhe, Fruhe Kruja, I believe it's pronounced. Albanian is so hard. Okay, um, there is a special statue I want to take you guys to. Let's go check it out. Okay, welcome guys. We made it to the beautiful little city of Fruje Kruha, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, beautiful, beautiful little town. <laughs> but um, I decided parking is just miserable here in Albania. There's so many vehicles. Um, so I'd, I'd rather just pay one dollar not to have to worry about this little parking lot. Um, the place that we're going to is over there. So it turns out that it's only like 90 cents to park here for no limit of time. And um, out here in the villages, nobody speaks any English. So this is this is off to a great start. But um, now, you may be wondering why we came all the way out here. Well, we came here to meet the 43rd resident of... No, 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 no. We, we came here to see the statue of the... Uh, Father of uh, America. Um, Forty-third you know, father. I, I, oh, this is so cute. Um, <coughs> it's very blonde. Um, I must, uh, I must uh, say that Shubham believes that George Bush was the uh, the first president of the United States. <laughs> um, so here's a little video of it. <laughs> Shubham, who was the first president of the United States? George Bush. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go check out the actual George Bush statue. All these nice little markets, and actually they grow um they grow pomegranates up here. A lot of onions. Pomegranates do grow on the trees here, which I was very surprised. Anyway, so um, uh, I'll explain for Anusha. He was the Should president. He was the president from 2001 Shubham. to 2009. Um, so his so basically, father was also a president. Yes, his father was also the president. president. Yeah. Um, so George Bush, yeah, was the uh, the president uh, when 9/11 happened uh, about 20 years ago in yeah. the U.S. And um, so he came here to visit. It's a long story, but um, all these old people are looking at me like, whoa. He's videotaping. Again, here. <laughs> okay, let's just get to the statue and then I'll tell you. Okay, so um, uh, it's a really complicated history of why this is so important. But um, we're coming up on the statue over here. The George Bush statue is right there. So before we get there, let me explain to you exactly why this is important. So um, George Bush was the first US president to come visit Albania. Um, but also the United States was kind of like the ones that helped push Albania out of like a like a post-Cold War kind of funk, a communist funk. He looks unhealthy. Broken leg. Um, but uh, anyway, so um, Albania, let me throw up a map real quick so you can see where Albania is. Um, Albania, of course, is on the coast. You see the country Kosovo right next to it. The United States recognizes Kosovo, but only about half the countries in the world do. Maybe 100 countries recognize Kosovo. And uh, basically, I mean, uh, just like how, you know, like with India and Pakistan, like a lot of people see the border and they think, okay, you know, all Indians here, all you know, all Pakistani people are all like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just like how a lot of people look at that border and they think, you know, like that's all the Muslims there, all the Hindus there. Um, it's everybody knows that it's actually like a really blurry border, and that's the same thing with Albania. All the borders around Albania are very, very blurry. There's a lot of um, ethnic. Hi, this way. Um, there's a lot of ethnic um, uh, Albanians that live over in Kosovo, and the United States helped um, 
basically like stop the persecution of them. Serbia and Yugoslavia were, were persecuting them. And so they were so happy for that. So Bush came here in 2007. He came here in 2007 and they put the statue up in 2011, I think, or something. 2007 and then, wow. Very good, very good. Thank you. Are you gonna give him a grape offering too? <laughs> it's a cute little statue though. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, uh, when Bush came here, um, basically he came to this little village to come and have lunch. And uh, this village is maybe like 30 minutes away or something from Tirana. But um, when he showed up here, he came in like a presidential limousine and, uh, and like just crowds, hordes of people that were just so happy to see him. American flags everywhere. There's a lot of mosques here in Albania actually. And, um, and so these mosques are even like hanging American flags. And uh, everyone was, was so happy to have this American here. And um, so just throngs of people that came here and he was like swarmed by them. Everyone was just loving him. All the old babushkas like kissing him and everything. And uh, so it was kind of funny. Anyway, and then um, the, the female prime minister was here too. And this female prime minister then, uh, she basically said that uh, like, she's like the mother of George Bush. Um, just <laughs> very, very odd. She said that I need to see him one more time before I die. Um, but uh, so he was very, very well received here. And so he went just chilling around town here. Some people say that I think his watch was stolen. Everyone was like tugging on his hair and just all this kind of cute stuff. But um, so yeah, the first, first American president then to visit Albania. And uh, then they built the statue in honor of him. There's also a Bill Clinton statue in Kosovo um, because they, they also appreciate everything that he did to stop the ethnic cleansing. But uh, it, it's funny because from the front, it can, from this angle, from this angle, it looks good if you look at his face. And then if I come off to the side, his head is like so flat. Okay, now if I zoom in, let's take a look at that. <laughs> but uh, in classic George Bush style with his, uh, his, his sleeves rolled up like this. That's very, very George Bush. And uh, of course, no watch on here. <laughs> I wonder why, maybe someone stole the watch. <laughs> anyway, there's some other things that I wanna show you. Um, I'll take you to the place where he actually ate. And um, uh, th th this guy loves that store so much that the place where George Bush ate, then uh, they still save that chair. No one sits at it. It's reserved for just when George Bush does come back. So we'll go check out that bakery. Um, but first I think I'm gonna go try to find a place to get a haircut. So um, I'll catch you guys in just a minute. George Bush, good, bad. George Bush, bad, good, very good, good. Damn. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> America, George Bush, America, America. Uh, America. Uh -huh. He also America. Good. America, America, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Brazil. Uh, Chicago. Uh, Chabelle. America. Ah, uh, Chabelle. Huh? Chabelle. America. America. Biden. Yeah. Yes, Biden. 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 Yeah, yeah. Biden. Biden. Your name. Biden. Tell me. Should be India. 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 Okay, okay. America? No, America. No, no, America. No, no, no. All right, we will go get a haircut in just a sec, but I want to point out up here the, uh, the bar, George W. Bush, which I feel like I have to make a pilgrimage to go to. But most importantly uh, is here, the, uh, the George Bush Bakery and Gelatio. <laughs> a gelatory place. G gelato. Um, here's all, all the, the beautiful pictures of George Bush coming to visit. <laughs> Everybody's so happy to see George Bush. <laughs> but I like that it's got this big signature here. I wonder what we can find at the George Bush Bakery. Anything special? Hi. Hi. I was trying to ask the bakery lady uh, what George Bush ate when he came here. And maybe it's just, maybe the time has, uh, has gone far too much that nobody knows what George Bush ate anymore. Cause it's just like, oh, let's see, 2007. 15 years ago almost that he came here. Um, so uh, I think this, this this is close enough. I think George Bush would eat some chocolate. Yes. 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 I'm not quite sure what it is, but uh, oh, it's a great time. Uh, sorry, George Bush. Pretty good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> do people like George Bush? Yeah. Why did Why do people like George Bush? Because he's wonderful. Because <laughs> he's wonderful. Yeah. Do, does everybody in town like George Bush? Uh, yes. Everybody like George Bush? Good. 
<laughs> Very good, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have a nice day. Oh. No? No. Okay. No haircut there. <laughs> okay, let's keep seeing if we can find another one. Haircut? No. no. Why would you say no? No haircuts for us. Okay, there's one more place. I'll try once more. No? <laughs> okay. Hello, it's Russia. No one here, sir. Go, go, obey, sir. No haircuts. Hello? Okay, it. Oh, okay, there's one more. There's actually barber shops just everywhere here, but it appears to be just like one person at a time. No. <laughs> nope. This is making it. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, kids. No haircut today. <laughs> I'll have to go to the villages farther and we'll, we'll see if we can find something else. But um, before we do leave, before we leave, I do want to stop one more place. There's also the George Bush um, bar up here. I know. There, there it's like rooftop. Yeah. So I, I need to get a beer where George Bush got a beer. Why not? No. I don't think it's back there. <laughs> okay, George Bush Cafe. Let's see what we can find. On June 10th, 2007, in this bar held a meeting of George Bush, the President of the United States of America. Okay, let's go. Oh, look. Okay, here it is. Right away. This table. President Bush. <laughs> Mrs. Bush. <laughs> Better EU flag. American flag flies all over the place here. White House. Thank you for opening the cafe for your small business. We enjoyed your warm hospitality. White House Communications, thank you. Oh, and there he is. Our patron saint. Our patron saint, George Bush. Okay, let's get a beer or something. Hey guys. <laughs> uh, I'm from America. <laughs> George Bush. Very good. Do you like George Bush good? <laughs> Across the street from the George Bush uh, Bakery. There is one more level up here of the uh, the George Bush restaurant. It's actually, it's a really, really cute little place. Nice view. And um, supposedly when he came here with all the, the Secret Service limousines and everything, everyone was swarming him and screaming, Bushy, Bushy, Bushy. So, Bushy, I think that's very fitting. Um, now, uh, like I said, I was gonna come here and get a beer. Because I thought, you know, American beer, that's what George Bush would have. He's from Texas. And um, the beer options that they have. Albanian, this is Italian, um, Amsterdam, German. Uh, I can't remember where I'm supposed from, but um, I ended up getting a Corona. Um, because for us uh, Americans, uh, I, was, I was hoping that there'd be Budweiser, but I guess uh, we're going to have to settle with a, a Mexican beer. It's the closest we can get. Brilliant. I need to get some from the room. Thank you. What is the salt? Yeah, salt. Very salt good. And, uh, <laughs> Perfect, thank you. You don't smoke, we can take it. There you go. Cheers. Anu. Gracias. No, 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 I know how to no, do it. No. It will pass, me, I'm an expert at shoving things in. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Okay, cheers. Cheers to George Bush. Just <laughs> to Corona. Just to Corona. George Bush during Corona, yeah. Wow. Okay, that's gonna end it for today's video. Goodbye from the George Bush bar. <laughs> One thing before the video ends, uh, I want to let you know that Brady is so happy right now. So happy that he found George Bush here. I know, see. He's so happy that he wants to use his used tissue paper or toilet paper. And, and Shivam, Shivam, is, Shivam is very jealous. Shivam is very jealous because there is no Modi right now here. Yeah. And he's like... See, yeah, we had Indian food for lunch. So I told Shivam, he gets his Indian food. I get my American stuff today. But Shivam just went to the bar and he asked, hey, now, what do you still have a bush? You have the table, but do you have the plate that he used? Do you have the tissue paper that he used? Do they have this? Do they have this? And they're just like, no, of course not. 
Sweet. Okay, Shubham. One day you turn it off for them, but right now let Gary enjoy it. Karasho, this is Daniel. Yes. So, like I said, cheers to George Bush. <laughs> Good night, guys. Good night. Who sleeps so early? Not good night time. Touch.